Hi everybody, my name is Bjorn Alpass from WPLearningLab.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to edit the wp-config file in your WordPress files which is a requirement to install WordPress and we're going to use the information we just generated in creating our database. If you recall from the last video we developed or we created a database name, a database username, and a database password. We're going to use those and input them into the wp-config file. So let's get started. I'm back in the file manager of my hosting account. You can also use an FTP program if you want. I find the file manager is just a lot faster and it's, it's good enough. It's easy to use, it's quick. I'm happy with it. So I select the wp-config-sample file. Click on the edit button. And it opens something that will look very similar to this. And just a little ways down the page, we have a PHP command right here. And it says inside these single quotes, database name here. That's where we put our database name. Below that, it says username here. Below that, it says password here. So we want to replace those with the ones we just created in the last video. So I'm going to copy the database name. Paste it in there. You want to make sure that you do not delete the single quotes because that will break the system and you may be pulling your hair out trying to figure out what went wrong and it might take some time to figure it out. I know I've had that happen to me in the past. So just please make sure you don't delete the single quotes. So just replace the username. Now I'm going to replace the password. And there we go. That is ready to go. But I'm going to show you a few more things that you can do in the wp-config file to make your site a little more secure. If you scroll down a bit, you get to the authentication, unique keys, and salts section where there's a bunch of PHP commands. You don't have to know what they are, but what it allows you to do is put your unique phrase here. Now this unique phrase is used when creating usernames and when people log in. So you can actually type in whatever you want there, but to make it even more random, WordPress has created this salt generator at this URL. So we can just copy and paste this into our browser. And it loads this page. We hit refresh a few times and you can just select all the information on that page. Go back to your wp-config file, highlight all these, paste those in, and you have very random, very hard to guess and hack salts and unique keys. Another thing you can do, you can change the WordPress database table prefix. So with every WordPress installation, the default table prefix is WP underscore. The underscore has to be there the, or it gives you rules here actually. You can only use numbers, letters, and underscores. The last character I usually keep as an underscore to make it less confusing. So you can easily differentiate the, the, the table prefix from the actual table name. But before the underscore, you can type in whatever you wish. And the more random it is, the more difficult it will be for someone else to guess what it is and potentially get into your database. So feel free to change that table prefix. If this is a little too advanced for you, that scares you a bit, don't worry about it. Just stick with just stick with adding the database name, the database user, the database password, and that's all you have to do. You can develop you can you can always update this stuff later. So when we're all done in here, we click on save changes. And changes are saved. We have to change the file name from wp-config-sample.php to wp-config.php. So we take out that dash sample. So now we can just navigate to your website by typing in your domain name. And you should come to a page that looks like this. It says, welcome, welcome to the famous five minute WordPress installation process. And you just fill out this short form to install the site. 
which we're going to do in the next video. I'll walk you through all these parts. I hope this information served you and hope this video helps you install WordPress. Again, this is Bjorn Allpass from WPLearningLab.com and I will see you in the next video.